Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can hear Max in the background. He's been having a day. <laughs> a good day, but a testing day to say the least. Um, but he's going through it and getting through it. But I hope that you all are having a great day so far. Um, I'm just slightly coming out of meditation and I just had some things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, patience, temperament, with self. Um, as of lately, I've really been focusing heavy on my journey in terms of growth and healing. And Some things have decided to enter into my life that um, I can say that um, I've manifested. And I believe that they have come about to remind myself of my strength. And I want to tell anybody out there who may be facing some adversity um, in the transitioning period of um, where you were and where you're trying to be. I think that's life in general. I think we're all striving to get to someplace else, but... With that being said, um, going hand in hand with reminding myself of my strength is reminding myself of being present. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Max, is, <sighs> Max is background noise. Um, but yeah, just patience, strength, and present those three things I feel are really at the forefront of my mind and my life at this moment and anybody who can relate please know you aren't alone we aren't ever alone even when we're by ourselves we're never alone and This is a reminder for you to focus on the quality of your life during moments of challenging, challenging moments. Um, focus on what you've journeyed through thus far focus on the things that bring you joy earlier this morning I was looking down at my um I got a couple tattoos, but I was looking at my first one, my first ever tattoo. Camera focuses. It says joy. And coming off the Y is a heart, but the heart is open. And it just reminded me 
so much of who I am and um, the importance of who I am. This tattoo I got at 17 and now that a decade has some change later this this tattoo feels that much more prevalent and deeper to me it has so much more meaning to me now than it did at 17 when I got this tattoo along with a couple of my friends we each got different words but the words that we got I believe really spoke to us individually and it wasn't that metaphorically deep to us then but um just a moment of gratitude that everything really is for a reason you know I'm a fan of tattoos and a fan of the artistry of it all but um for me personally if I'm gonna get something permanent on my body I I want it to be of significance and um things that matter to me you know things that are deep to me, to my soul, to my being. And um, again, through moments of adversity and challenges and transition, I'm remembering to really focus on my joy and to keep my heart open. So many things. So many things can knock us off course easily if we allow it to. And um, because of those things and those actions, we may get down on ourselves or numb. I've definitely been there, but I feel like I've journeyed through so much already in life, and I've gained so much knowledge about being stronger, being better, being mindful, really aligning to the truths of who I am. I feel like Source has blessed me so much that even through moments of challenge I have my wisdom and the love of the divine to get me through anything and I didn't know what I was going to talk about when I started this video but um, I'm glad that I channeled this message for you guys. And um, I just want to continue to be a light for you all as well as myself. Okay. Um, not going to do a whole full spread. As you can see, I just got my work your light. <laughs> oracle deck and I'm going to get a couple messages for you guys from spirit from the divine from source from the ascended masters <laughs> excuse my sniffles <laughs> and I'm just going to see what needs to be seen I know the setup is a little bit different too. I'm actually on my bed just because I needed this bit of a comforting 
moment in time. So I hope y'all dig in the <laughs> setups. <laughs> okay. Let's see. inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart Okay, the other four cards are Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future, Protection, Call Back Your Power, Cut the Cord, Soul Retrieval. Deep Replenish, Retreat, Hold, Sorry, retreat, rest, be held. And lastly, take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. <laughs> Just going to look into the book to see if there's any additional messages along with each card. First, we're going to go with Inner Temple. Max is watching Aladdin, by the way, <laughs> for any parents out there. Okay, Inner Temple is on page 70. Okay. says you are being called to be a devoted student and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life you could be being called to develop a regular meditation journaling or chanting practice or to show up to your soul with rhythm to develop a daily practice where you fill your Fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to all of the questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart. But you cannot hear them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you. And so the more time you spend with it and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. You are here to grow. We are here to grow as souls. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn. And you are being called to go deeper in your soul growth or to increase your devotion by being a student of a lineage or a spiritual teacher. If you have already been committed, a committed student, then you are being commended for your devotion. Your guides want you to know how proud of you they are and that the time you spend in devotion is priceless. If you are questioning your career or life path, your guides want you to turn your focus towards devotion and this prayer. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer. Love it. And y'all, I will say this. 
I know exactly why that card came up for me personally. Um, and I hope it re resonates or relates to any of you, but I'm trying to, well, I am working towards finding what works for me in terms of daily meditation and, and daily prayer and daily devotion to tune into myself. Um, it can be challenging. It's not an excuse by any means. You know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Um, and it's just how you choose to carve out that time. For me, I feel personally like I am becoming better at carving out a time. Um, and, and that time doesn't always look the same every day for me, especially because I have a little one. But um, I hear in my mind when I need to go within, and it'll just say meditate, <laughs> meditation. So um, if you feel as though things are a bit foggy, if you feel like things aren't as clear as they need to be for you, just like this passage says, carve out some time where you can give to yourself and connect with you and with God and with source, because that is where the clarity lies. Okay. Next, we have break the chain. Page 60. Okay. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns. Healing. Rewriting the future. Okay. You are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your of your maternal or paternal line healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you we carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back wow <laughs> This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Often, they are not even ours to begin with. But we do not know another way of being. And so we continue playing out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person. But... Your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of being or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? What part of your future do you want to rewrite? Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. Light, sorry, <laughs> work your light action. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go? Seek assistance from your support team, tribe, friend, healer, coach, etc. to begin freeing yourself from it now. Up to seven generations back. That's deep. That's really deep. And it's just it's the nail on the head. <laughs> Next, we have the protection car, and that is 104. Okay. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords, soul retrieval. (laughs) 
You are being called to protect your energy and call back your power. May all the lost pieces return home now. Take a look at who and what drains your energy. Do not keep your tabs open. Shut down energetically each night. Energetic cords are formed between people, places, objects, and events. So it's important to keep checking in. Your energy and energetic space are sacred, so treat them as such. Keeping your energy clear takes work. As we go through life, we can give away our power. So it is important that we call it back by cutting energetic cords or doing a form of healing known as soul retrieval. Can you think of a traumatic event, relationship, or soul memory that you are being called to call back your power from? Yeah, I am. (laughs) Check into your body now and see which chakra feels like it needs a bit of an energetic cleanup. Work your like activation. It says, hold this card on your heart. Sorry. (laughs) Hold this card on the chakra or chakras that needs cleaning and repeat the following. And I was just, I said heart innately. Like heart isn't even written down and I just said heart. So I'm going to hold this card over my heart chakra and clean up that space energetically it says i call back any loss soul fragments power or light now any vows soul contracts hexes or programs from the past or present from this life or others that are not in the highest good of all, I relinquish now. Any power or light that I have willingly or unwillingly given away or had taken from me. I call back now. Any cords or attachments from this life or others, I release now for the highest good of all. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. I say, love that. Next, we have the deep replenishment card. If y'all still with me, like this video. Deep replenishing is on 64. Okay. Deep replenishment. Rest, retreat, rest, be held. The most selfless thing you can do is to fill up. Sorry, the most, yes, the most selfless thing you can do is to fill up your own inner well. When we are running around half-filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us the nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you are running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile, and rich. Tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile, overspilling with life? 
It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good coffee at your favorite cafe, attending a woman's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along the beach, or yin yoga. What nourishes you is your medicine. When you give yourself the medicine that you need to be nourished, you nourish all of those around you for there is more than enough to go around. Do something that deeply replenishes you today. I will be doing that after this video. <laughs> so last but not least, we have the take a break card. Okay. And that is on page 82. And eight plus two, it equals back down to one. Okay. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. It's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations. To take a moment from your busy schedule to get off the treadmill of life. To appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created, achieved, released, or experienced before rushing on to the next thing. To be in the moment and enjoy where you are. To take a breath and regather your mind, body, and spirit. To recalibrate, appreciate, and celebrate. To decide on what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or just been burning the candle on both ends. Now is the time to take some time out before rushing onto the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on a vacation, book a massage, take long walks in nature. Go away for a rejuvenating weekend to recharge and replenish. And I will do just that. <laughs> Those are the cards for this evening. Before bed, Tarot's Red episode, what have you. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did. Um, and I hope you really felt the purity of everything that has come through me tonight. Like I said, this nothing that I really said was planned and it was also channeled and pure and um I hope that I always hope that I am assisting and aiding in your growth in your process along your journey for the better um as I continue to do just that for myself okay so like this video subscribe to the channel I'm going to go check in with Max before I get to my self-nourishing and nurturing, <laughs> uh, what is it, practices. And um, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one, okay? Leave me some love in the comments and until next time, y'all. <laughs>